Hey guys, I'm going to go over how to apply a uh, color LUT to face retouching. Um, it's not super straightforward or intuitive, so um, a lot of people have questions about it. So I'm going to try to answer those in this video. Um, so to start, um, let's just get a face mesh and put some retouching on it. I'm going to make a new material. Name things to keep them organized. Um, actually, where is it? Retouching. There we go. So you can see, uh, especially in my beard, pre apparent, um, just a, a smoothing effect. So we've got that working. Um, now I'm going to set up a canvas in focal distance. And I'm going to put a rect in there, and that's going to be our LUT or whatever image processing you want to do there. Make a material for that. Call it BG for background. Um, and then it's going to be flat texture. So, of course, you need to extract camera texture and then just for now I'm going to pipe it into background so now you can see um, with this canvas it's blocking the effect of the face smoothing um, so we're going to put that on a new layer So face smoothing is still blocked. Um, so the trick here is to create another face mesh. I'm just going to copy and paste this one. That didn't do what I wanted. Maybe duplicate. All right, maybe I'll just add another face mesh. There we go. OK, so with this face mesh, you can see right now, this is another issue that people run into a lot. So to get around this like distance thing, um, you can go to your background and go to advanced render options. Um, I think it's use depth test. Nope. Right to depth. I don't know. You, you probably don't need either of those. So just check it off. Uh, and then you won't have that intersection issue. Um, so with this new base mesh, we're going to make a new material. Um, and just call it, uh, I don't know, face. Um, we're going to use a flat material and we're going to pipe it into the graph. And then we're going to get the face texture um, from the face tracker. just pipe that in so um, like even without any processing you can see uh, we've solved the issue of the canvas blocking the uh, face tracker um, retouching so once you have that done you can apply any kind of stuff in between these two that you want so it could be a color LUT um, it could be something more simple just like a a brightness, contrast, I dragged that to the wrong place. So just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to demo the, um, the contrast patch. Uh, but you can just as easily do this with a color LUT. So you can see the effect is on the background, and then apply it to the face you just do the same thing and you can see the smoothing is still apparent that's pretty much it um, I think this is also possible to apply let's um, to face deformations but I haven't tried it myself 
So if you guys want to see that, that will be my next tutorial. Just let me know in the comments. Hit subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you on the next one.